नेक्स्ट सेशन इज कीज टू अजाइल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन बाय रामानाथम यज्ञनारायण एंड पूजा भारत लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस बोथ ऑफ दिस स्पीकर्स हियर टुडे रामा इज एन अजाइल प्रैक्टिशनर एक्सपीरियंस इन क्रिएटिंग लीडिंग एंड मैनेजिंग अजाइल टीम इन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड सेटअप ही इज एक्टिव इन अजाइल कम्युनिटीज स्पेसिफिकली इन चेन्नई बिल्डिंग अजाइल कम्युनिटीज Uh, for past 6 years his primary focus is on agile and uh, it's scaling with continuous integ uh, integration and improvement with lean scrum kanban and safe agile scaled agile framework uh, pooja uh, carries over a decade of professional experience as a digital transformation consultant executive and leadership uh, coach pooja uh, has uh, gone through lots of trainings and she uses various trainings and coaching techniques such as uh, orsc fundamentals nlp techniques to unfold a uh, creative uh, neuro pathways for personal agility organization and team agility she is deeply committed spending her time and energy serving communities for uplif uh, upliftment of underprivileged children and women she is active member of various agile uh, various social welfare organizations and agile organization here in india and america uh, now over to you uh, rama and pooja namaste and uh, thank you so much no sure okay am i audible okay <laughs> namaste and uh, good morning good afternoon whichever <laughs> uh state of mind we are in i'm very very uh, glad as an emotional moment for me to come back to india after over a decades time and uh, i'm going through a personal change myself uh, i thank apgi for providing me this opportunity and need just to say to partner with uh, ramanathan so uh, today's topic it's going to be about uh, the seven transformational keys and you know we came up with this concept i was like okay ram what do we do like something really different and and uh, we picked up an excerpt from michael sohota's white paper and this is actually going to be based on a storytelling concept uh, purely out of our personal views and and our experience in industry um and is no way related to the organizations or any sensitive data uh from the current organization that we are supporting on so like i mentioned it's going to be a storytelling form and related to michael sohota's white paper of uh, an excerpt from his white paper seven transformation keys uh what you know so uh, again uh, we are just like viewing it uh, to be a, a personal view here but uh, the session would uh, come up with a lot of product companies as an example so we would discuss about the seven keys of agile transformation and at last we will also self reflect on which key is the primary key for your organization as well for the transformation story yeah so uh, there are like uh, the first key which we are going to talk about is like agile as an enabler like it's it's not a goal for us so when i when i come up with this idea right most of the agile organizations which we work with they either tend to take their competitors and then uh, they want to just like say okay the competitor is like working on agile ways of working and like let's start with that and then like uh, we will also go in agile ways of working and then try to copy especially uh, many organizations who have done with uh, the culture wise modifications in terms of their organization uh, structure that these kind of copycats is always going to help but that's not going to be our goal right to be a copycat and then say i'm going to be your agile but uh, agile should be an enabler uh, in terms and it should help our uh, to achieve our organization's goal and that's what is going to be our first uh, key And, and we have given few examples here, and we want to just keep it more interactive rather than having it as a monologue. Uh, let's have a dialogue and then like understand what it is. How many of you are, are Apple phone users here? Uh, around like 50, 30 percent crowd. Uh, and uh, can anyone like uh, let's have the mic to, and can you tell me one factor that's not allowing you to move out and go back to Android? Can we pass the mics? Yeah. costly okay that that's one reason uh, with on android not cheaper than apple uh, but, but i want to just one wow factor that is making you to stick to apple uh, can Product we pass can. on the mic yeah 
product catalog product catalog excellent what 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 are the other ones and in terms of experience data data okay security on data ease of use ease of use uh, excellent historical perfect transfer of data and what what is that like you move and then you can see the, uh, the the same channel right when you are with mobile and you can see the same thing without a glitch in your apple phones right and that's one thing which one of my relative showed that like when you start using apple you will never come out of that what what is good about uh, like all are, all are in facebook right there might be one or two exceptions where they don't, they don't refrain from facebook but uh, using facebook is like not a sin but how many of them are in facebook and also meta like which we call it in these days right meta the name which they rebranded how many of them use facebook any any one experience or one reason that stops you to come out of facebook addicted okay perfect but that's also getting you a celebrity look when it when we are in facebook right we are you are getting fame and that's the one that's the one reason uh, and, and there is a success mantra for facebook that's what we call it as being an enabler uh, that's the first transformation key which we have kept meta as the first one because people are more concerned about their life and they look and peep into the others life and then their wall post is more important for others more than other your post like you would be keen on the others post and then like you would look at okay what is this guy okay let's see what he does and others timeline is popular and that's the success mantra of facebook Uh, insta okay and uh, uh, this is especially for mang and we have a, 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 an analytics behind this mang companies being example for here yes insta is also a good example we are not limiting with only this five there are a lot many examples which we want to bring in but we want to just give some facts for this company so that you can correlate with the actual key which we are trying to point out so if you look at amazon right what what is best about amazon one thing that uh, when it comes to uh, our way and day to day routine right as in being in it what strikes as in as in when you see the amazon logo of course and what 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 in terms of cloud space is of use again and uh, again when you when you look at the, the deployments we often give yeah. examples of amazon in all our presentations right so the way how that yeah excellent they are not content creators and they tend to use it from others and it's it's again the the uh, the point which is which is well mentioned here is like they are very smart in terms of getting the customers especially i am i'm just coming to netflix next so uh, in terms of data analytics in a recent session which i have given 211 million users or subscribers which netflix has they know what all this million users use in terms of their preferences in terms of genre and also how many places you have passed and resumed your videos the data analytics that they capture will tell you what is your next move with their predictable as so that's what we want to look at in if you look at all these five companies to conclude key number 1 they never care about the word agile if you look at all these five companies they never say we we are agile ways of working we follow agile and they don't talk about principles Twelve principles or four values at any place, but they reflect that in terms of their outcomes. And yeah. very clearly, when we look at these five companies, even Google, they never they had uh, their Google Labs, which they scrapped, and they they even have uh, their innovation lab set up, and all that being done. But if you look at uh, Sundar Pichai's uh, note on uh, any of the product, they never use the word agile in terms. Say, but you take. their design sprint like which you quoted yesterday or all those in examples and reflections of the agile ways of working but they never use that word but they show that in their outcomes yeah which suffices with that four values and principles yeah yeah so thank you ram so just to ram's uh, point and conclude this the first transformation key is i would i <laughs> like to refrain from a very classy phrases that we've got saturated with you know being agile doing agile right so we just think about it like you know so agile again is just going to be the ways of working it is an enabler so i went back to the webster dictionary just to really understand like what is enabler mean so it's something so and the, and the dictionary uh, and it says that enabler is nothing but a person or something that makes something happen 
And so what we are going to, what we are focusing here is what are we going to make things happen? It's about organization goals, right? So again, so I went back kind of, you know, putting my thoughts together. So it's just the agile, agile ways of working and be, right? I mean, even though it's a classy phrase in, in our industry, it's about the values and principles like, like Ram mentioned, right? It's about the culture that can help us attain our organization goal, our team goal, our department goal. And you know, what's the outcome that we want to achieve? Like, like Priya, how she mentioned in the previous um, keynote uh, session and with Satya's note as well. So it's all about focusing upon the goals that we want to achieve and the outcome that we want to achieve together as, as a team, as an organization, as, or as a department. So for the end exercise where we have uh, to look at the composition of this room, like what key is the primary key for our organization, Remember for this, uh, if your organization is buzzing more on agile ways of working and then trying to say the word agile more, yeah. but not focusing on the organization goals, then you want this key to be there to open that lock. And uh, especially, you, we should focus on the left, like how we do for the agile manifesto, like uh, the four values. The leftmost one are the most priority ones. Look at your speed, collaboration, experimentation, and your iteration, and also your time to value. So look at, uh, look at that rather than focusing more on the way how it is. Key two, uh, again this is going to be an evolutionary program. Uh, when I say evolutionary program, re uh, you should always think of replacing your rollout plan. Like one day I just roll out it all at a sudden and then looking at success is not going to be the way how we are going to look at, right? It's going to be an evolutionary planning and even uh, the rollout should be uh, an evolutionary one because when you look at this Cinefin framework, right? You have this uh, simple domain, complicated domain, chaotic domains as well. But when we compare this, right, the fall matters the, the, with the altitude, right? If you are jumping from an altitude, right, the, the hit or the, the cost, whatever that is going to be, uh, the wounds is going to be based on the altitude. It depends, right? Even the spine can break into pieces based on the altitude. So it, it again, we want to look at where we are going to fall off and uh, like revive back from the way how we are getting off from that fall off, right? So when we look at this, how many of you have been using uh, like learn together from the learning, you experiment, if you feel that that learning is not going to help you unlearn and then like learn new things and come back. So how many of maybe there might be products which would be in your mind but how many of you are customers of WOW? WOW skin uh, products. WOW, yeah. You are? Uh, can you tell me one experience or one product which, which speaks who they are? In terms of any, any product which you have come up with. Shampoos, okay. What, what is special about their shampoos? <laughs> Onion shampoos, okay, yeah, okay. That, that's nice. Onion shampoos. But, do, do you, do you, they, they do have a science behind it, no parabens, no sulfates and stuff, but behind that, uh, whatever the value or the rituals that we have lost from Ayurveda, it's coming back and they are just putting that as a parameter. Their rollout plan is so simple and especially I have added that as an example for rollout plan just because you buy anything as a product value, you get one product free of cost from them. Would you mind why? Because they they feel it and they want you to get the feel out of it, give feedback and they see whether you get that product next time by paying for it. You get anything, 699 rupees you get something and they would give you one product free of cost. If you don't, if you even want or not, they want to give that free of cost to you to try. Yeah. And based on that, they look at how many products that they have given free of cost to you and then and they, they look at the repeat business, whether you are getting that free product and pay for it next time. And that's the way, yeah, freelance. Yeah. Again, you're the product there. When it is free, anything, when, you, when they term that you're, it's, it's free of cost, you are the testing product for them. Yeah, so uh, especially their brand has now had a, had a very good segmentation of products. Like she said, onion and typical products which we don't get from the, the legacy or uh, from our grandma and grandpa's uh, boxes, right? The medicine boxes, we are getting that with no chemicals, no parabens, tag, tagline, and then we are getting it. So they have a ro evolutionary rolling out plan, roll out for free. Look how the pulse is. If the product is great, take it up. And they never use the word agile. But their, their rollout plan is very simple. They learn, 
whether this product is fit for market or not. They have scrapped a lot many products like that and then they have discontinued that, which didn't work out even when they have given it free of cost. Coming up to the next one is country delight. How many of you use? It's in Pune, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Jar, uh, Gar, Jaisa, Dahi and uh, again Ghee as well, they market that in a way that they, they tell you that this is like pure organic one so that you go and get it. It's getting across, it was initially for three cities, now they are in seven cities. Excellent way of ma marketing and when, when you look at that, their agile way of working is very good. Look at the order till 12 p uh, a.m. in the night, that's the cutoff. Once that is done, then the next day morning, he delivers uh, more faster than any competitor in the day-to-day in the -day life. Be it, in, in, in Tamil Nadu we call it as Avin, which is the cooperative milk society. Uh, in Karnataka we call it as Nandini. Right? And in, in each federation, like Gujarat it's Samul. So you have all federations of state, but this guy is faster than everybody. That's what we call it as time to value. And I, I replace that with time to deliver for them as a metric. They deliver it faster than anyone and 4 o'clock you get that and any usual uh, people who gets in early in the morning, choice for them is this one. They don't go for any other milk providers. Looking at deep rooted, how many of you have seen this but this, is, this, is, this company is like booming one and uh, they, they do deliver vegetables, 11 p.m. is their cutoff time. Fresh grown vegetables in an organic pattern would reach you in the next day morning. They are in Google Play uh, and they are very, very clean, keen about giving this and they, they have a very good vision. I'm just giving an example so that you can go and view that later. So you can just get, get uh, a, a vision out of what they have uh, as each seed uh, sown in uh, soil has a story of life. That's their vision uh, and a tagline which they have. And he said like, okay, I want to get that fresh for everybody, fresh fruits and vegetables. I understand Zepto can be a very good example which can give you in 6 minutes or whatever the, the time but he is having up a, a, a different one and checking the pulse of the, through their rollout plan. Coming back to Red Bus, uh, what, what is special about Red Bus? How everybody who books bus has this as an option, yes, no? He is an aggregator, he is not, uh, he's, uh, like you said, they are, they are not content creators, they are an aggregator who brings every uh, bus operators together. But now they are part of Make My Trip. But when, when Paninda Shama started and founded this company, they would have not thought of like they would be, a, uh, they would be acquired by Go, Go IBBO Ventures and stuff. Now, now they are part of it. Reason being, their hard work and their rollout plans. They haven't started at a big bank. They went on with few cities. Uh, past four or five years back, all the state government transport buses got into the partnership with them. That's the big win for them. And though state government has their own websites, they have been a, ticket, a ticketing aggregator for them. Rollout plan wins and that, that, is what, that was a clear learning experiment for them. Coming back to Map My India, how many of you have heard about Map My India? Uh, what is their conspiracy? Uh, they have been in conspiracy with a big giant for maps, right? Google Maps. There was an argument in Supreme Court, right? CCI, uh, Competitors Commission of India has warned Google to keep it open rather than having an Android filled with their maps by default, not allowing Map My India. But if you look at Morris Garage, Mercedes Benz, Mahindra, all navigation operates with Map My India. Yeah. <clears throat> very good example, very good agile company who has a B2B market ruling that market as a monopoly in India. Right? There is one, uh, uh, if, you are, if you are a user of Zeroda, a, 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 a trading broker, they, they do send you a, a newsletter called FinShots. If you are good at, if you want to be a product coach, if you want to excel in product life cycle management and look at what are the products available in India and their competition and whatever, follow their FinShots newsletter. It's very, very, very uh, informative for you to learn. And we picked up most of our analogies from there and with the statistics information as well. And Again, uh, the third key is again where, iterating towards where the interest is. When you look at uh, these companies which we have, right, you are mostly looking, looking at again, like, uh, rather than pushing and then force feeding someone to do uh, which they don't like, rather you look at what their interest is and then focus on that and try to uh, just go with that interest and then sell your product. Don't mandate agile there. 
then that's something which we are very keen about for these companies. Uh, first one, make my trip. By default, when you look at any ticketing ones, you have a Yatra, clear trip, whatever. But make my trip comes with MMT Black and they, they, they give you all gimmicks to come back to their website and get it done. And especially even they are tough competitor to Thomas Cook and other companies, even giving you a better packages compared to all others. They give you surveys often to, to understand your pulse. They don't mandate Agile, but they give you a lot of uh, surveys to understand your pulse and then give products accordingly. And if you look at Spotify, genres that you often hear, just like Netflix, they do analytics and get you what you wanted. So even when you drive a car and have Spotify activated, whatever that you have list listed, right, it will give you the preferences so that you don't go and search for it anymore. Cred, how many of you have used, uh, users of Cred? A lot of cred, uh, credit card users here. So what, what uh, helps in Cred and uh, what is the big story about mandating and understanding your interests? Uh, why I have given here uh, Cred as an example? Not only for credit cards, right? Now they are into different business. Slowly turning to be an NBFC, right? They are coming up with mutual funds. They are tending to be a credit and then they are also having up a uh, cred mall, which, which, they are, which you are going to buy with your cred, credit card points, as in when you pay. Uh, higher the credit card bills, higher the gems you collect, higher the one that you buy and get free of cost. On the other hand, Big Banana is like for uh, the, uh, uh, the, for the people who are like little larger, like me. So, uh, it was a brand from Future Group. Now, Big Banana is, is, is making that pattern. And they are taking up for extra large people. They tend to give fit uh, dresses, and this is Big Banana's product. Okay, and uh, their way is like to target that customers, and their targeting is superb. Have a visit, and you will you will feel that experience. And Byju's uh, for IIT JE examination, the founder found that like okay, he's good at it. There are a lot of people who are failing it, right? He didn't mandate. He found that there is an interesting group where he can target. Now he is ruling for all E classes, for all class. He started only for IIT JE, cracking that first. And now his business is like virtual classes across. And he is better than more of, more of the schools what you pay, right? You pay a big amount of uh, money to the schools, but he is more than that. He finds the interest for the kids, and they are smart learning kids, and then they are tending to do this. Let me go on to the key number four. Why is this uh, avoiding big organizational transformation is, is like a pitfall for this? Because a lot of uh, big conglomerates, right, they go in, and then tend to fall off for, a, for this prey, uh, as a prey. Uh, because they tend to do this at a large scale, fail at large scale, but they, cannot, they could not come up. A lot of many good examples. Uh, especially the, the, uh, the acquirers, like when, when we go and write uh, mine tree, getting acquired by LNT. And you also have a lot of, you see, even Air India, a very good example. Biggest government chain, 29,000 crores debt. But if you look at the example, that's also an Indian. Tata, who is ready, who is ready to buy, when though they have two other subsidiaries, which is indirectly owned by them, one directly owned by them, one is Vistara and the other one is Air Asia, right? And they, they were ready to get this, and now they are tending to merge all this, and they are successful. And uh, when you look at this Tata New, it's a very good example for it. You know. They are integrating everything together. They are, they, are, they are into small pieces. Chroma, a, a retail outlet that they are trying to build in and then improve. And in the same way, they are tending to have all the IHCL hotels together so that you don't search for a third party. You come in directly, you get everything. Your travel, your stay, your what, whatever that you want, even your delivery of food, even your delivery of the groceries or whatever, all in one place. And they didn't do that as a big organ, uh, transformation for an organization, but they do. It's, they started it very slow by acquiring Big Basket first, by acquiring 1MG first. Slowly getting all this and then built that as one single source and then getting out. And you, you, if you go and see them, now you have one stop shop for all within this Tata. And all the points that you accrue, it's, it's, it's getting as a, as a reward mechanism where you can get that back, right? And especially this is like to understand, go in pieces, your, your organization transformation will be very successful. They never call that as an agile, but TCS is also one among the organization has ninjas who can get that done.
the, the go-to strategy, okay? Mm -hmm. And then I think there are an abundance of examples and the, and the, and the, the, the news as well that how that product has a felt miserable, okay? So Tata, I would not say more go-to example, I would have completely decided with that. Of course, of course. I, I'm not saying that it should be a go-to example. It's not something that they wanted to create a super app and then they started building all the blocks into it. Okay, so it's... It's vice versa. That's, that's my comment. They had all the blocks and they just wanted to create... Build one which is big. Yes. That they, I, I'm, I'm standing with that point and I'm saying that they have had this vision. They started in pieces. Yeah. And then over the course they have built this. And that's where I, I want to point this as an example. Else I would have gone with Paytm. They had a vision of having everything. Rather than going out and right now they are even MBFCs and also a bank which they have, they have and they, they are not only that, they are into lending and everything. So even they are a stock broker. So that's how that is. They have a vision. That's why I didn't put Paytm there and have chosen Tata New because they don't have that vision. Moving on to the next one, including the agile mindset. If you look at Philips, they are for their products which is innovative products which they have come up with. And uh, when, when you look at Tesla, it's not only for electrical cars. They do manufacture solar uh, panels and all the other stuff. Especially the grid. The battery is for the grid. And if India has been given for them to open, uh, already there is an option which you can come up with an importer where uh, Model 3 can be bought. And the uh, price of that is 70 lakhs. They have the most sold car and then like we want to get that. So there are a lot, a lot many models which is coming in, in place. Uh, and they are in queue. And SpaceX, if you look at lunar exploration, NASA is relying on them. That's the way how we have to have the growth mindset where learning uh, fosters and innovation nourishes with, with whole. And because if you look at it, Virgin Atlantic, what they, they have a, a very nice growth mindset, right? I am I'm ready. Pay for me, I'll take you to space. Giving you a new experience. Forget about the money that you are going to pay. But look at the way how they are looking at uh, the way how uh, you want to look at the adventure of just going to the space in Virgin Atlantic and the CEO has been an example for it. He flew and then like he said like, see I have done my travel, would you want to go next? But that's the way how they do it, right? So ITC being cigarettes banned in India, if you look at all their segmentation of class, right? A very good example like how they didn't have the vision, but they said like when, you, when, you're, when we are banned with uh, cigarettes, what next? Now if you look at it, they, are, they have killed almost lot of brands and become a tough competitor for Britannia. Sunfeast is there and if you look at it, Fiamme Devils for confectioner, all that uh, and ITC uh, hotels, IHCCs have been competitors for them but still they are giving a tough competition. Ashirwa Data, there are a lot of Atas uh, who have been very great but you have Sabarmati Atta which is the signature one for them. Kitchens of India, all masala products, home lights, classmate, classmate notebooks, everything. Everybody, Unilever and I have that uh, the next one. Uh, let's, let's move on quickly, not just doing agile but being agile but here. Start with leaders first. If you look at it, yeah. If you look at it, like they are the one who is like uh, pioneers in terms of it, right? They start leaders first, and then leaders assimilate and understood this is what we are going to do, and then like they rolled out for all teams, especially Atlassian, being a small issue tracking tool. Today, whoever we quote, right? When we say, say the word agile, Jira is being the ALM for them. A, a story of satisfaction is different whether it aligns to it or not. But if you look at it, Scott and Mike, they are the one who bought it from an issue tracking tool till date. They are into Jira Align, they are into Ops Genie, lot many acquisitions with millions. But now they are one stop shop for everything. See, if you want to say, uh, go with safe, they are saying Jira Align fits for it. And they have a ready-made solution. Service desk for your incident management. If you look at identity management, crowd is there. So all set of yeah. Atlassian products. And on the other hand, Microsoft, like they don't create content, they don't create products. They know how to make it as a suit, bundle it, make it product and then like send it out. So that's the way how they, uh, the leaders have that vision, tend it to uh, send it to the other whole set and uh, giving a tough competition to the whole world. Microsoft is very good at it. From Visual Studio until date with Azure DevOps. Yeah? Why is Patanjali there? Any, any idea? The competition that he has been with Hindustan, Unilever and Procter Gamble, right? Procter and Gamble is like big FMGG client, but why, why is that? They are scared about Patanjali because of one product. Have you used toothpaste from Patanjali, Dant Kanti, right? They are, it is a tough competition even to Colgate and other uh, toothpaste. Why? Because of Baba Ramdev? Yes. yes. Because of the selling? 
yeah but that is the that is the whole crux right they are good at all the products and which with the with the way how they are marketing it use any of their products they are giving you the feel and then they are getting it uh, as a repeat business though their products have uh, for for the, for the supply chain they have a problem now in few cities but still they are successful it's just because of the two people who have marketed it very well right and again uh, why geo any any idea they are into they are into 406 cities today at 32 states 5g ready it's because of the vision of a leader not the ambanis Diruba is the one who has created that vision, one dream and one nation, which was not achieved by Anil when it was with Reliance Communication, but Geo has taken over and then they are into it. And that's why leadership is first again to think of. That's their rollout plan. Uh, it's also an example. Yes. And that's the way how they are in. And now uh, you have 5G, which has been at 406 cities and when Airtel is get, getting ready, they are already with 406 cities and 32 states. So, with the Geo or any Reliance thing, I think the, what they do is, uh, they, they go that cheap so that they kill the market. Kill the market, yes. And then get the market. Pricing, that, that's a pricing strategy that they have to kill. Yeah, uh, you know what I mean? You know, on the big companies, price to understand the customer requirements. And based on that, but would that suffice take an economic view in safe the first principle yeah. like then understand the economies of scale and then like come up with the pricing understanding the pulse of the customer it's not working hello yes so what they do is uh, the POC is done by the customer itself the pr proof of concept because the test is being done by the customer. For an example, there are 10 million customers. To come up with a plan, they will understand the strategies like what are the uses of internet, SMS, calls, and then they come up with a plan. So they can uh, catalog and configure the plans based upon the requirements. And if someone requires more uh, uh, tailoring, then that tailoring will be extra and they understand the overall market conditions and the main thing is the network connectivity so that the network would be available across uh, by incorporating network topologies what yeah. i can say when you when you said the word tailoring i've even getting a bmw as there uh, the way where i can put them here as an example you want you want whatever the tailor customization that you want they they might tend to do that and that's their usp Absolutely. right Thank moving you. on to the last slide and uh, this is again uh, for the companies which always goes with uh, beyond tactics and strategy, there is a word called culture, which uh, again, each strategy for breakfast. So if you look at it, uh, it, the culture is something which is difficult for an organization where you can adopt and then like change over a course of time. And that once that is changed, right, or once that is being corrected and that culture is being there in place, whatever the mindset, whatever the words you call in, that fall in place and that's where you measure an organization right when I say word Infosys or TCS you look at their organization culture and then like you say okay this is a very good organization and that's where this is a specific key performance indicator for us to measure organization right so IDEO it's again where it's a human centered design thinking where you take up 49 uh, induction parameters for people who join there so which builds and then tends to get you the value and Spotify, one among the good example again, where you have copied, uh, when I say you are, we have copied the culture and then like say Spotify model and tend to work on it. And then it didn't work for most of the classes, right? And we want to add about yeah. Deloitte. <laughs> Being a part of alumni of Deloitte, uh, they have amazing inclusion diversity in, in imbibing the culture, a lot of leadership training for women. Um, and, and I've witnessed uh, personally uh, the, the connect that I still cherish with some of the principals and partners, right? They're, they have an open door every Friday connects, like they meet with associate, where the associate can really be vulnerable and talk about their challenges. And that by establishing a mutual trust, like, you know, the associate really, really wants to understand where the principal is focusing on, what, what the partners are saying, where the technology is leading, where, where the client's needs are, right? So, those are the aspects that I can, you know, 
one needs to carry, and, and culture speaks a lot about it, and it all starts with, you know, leaders, so. Great. Yep. So, uh, we quickly have a Mentimeter here, like where we can put in your vote for the seven uh, transformation keys, and let's understand what is the composition in this room. Like, which key is the primary enabler for us? Let's see what, what matters a lot out of the seven keys. Uh, if you log into this Mentimeter, like, we would have a question for you. Uh, keep your organization in mind. And then out of the seven keys, which one do you think is mostly matters for your organization to take that key in your hand and open the lock so that the transformation can be easy? Yeah? Can we, yeah, uh, just once you have all in, let me know so that I can project the yeah. results in the screen. Yeah. Can we display the results? Mostly they would be voting. Perfect. Enable is 25%. Improving daily work. Okay. Good. People are still voting. Yeah. Wow. That's interesting. Improve daily work. Okay. I trade where the interest is. Good. So everybody is support, taking up a support and, or, or the benchmark of Hmong companies there, right? You can, uh, Agile as an enabler. Not, it's not the mantra where we can take it as a goal. Yeah, excellent. So any questions? We are open to questions for a minute. If not, we are, we are around here. You can post us. Like you can, we are free to have a conversation with you. But at, relevant to any of these keys, and we can, we can ta talk over lunch or uh, during our tea times. But before we just go into the Q&A mode, you know, we would just like to leave you as the end, towards the end of the presentation, with one thought. Like, what would be your mantra or your key transformation like you know among all of these seven just think about it in your organization throughout your transformation journey yeah so uh, if you have no doubts thanks thanks for this opportunity uh, that's been given to us by apgi amazing set of volunteers and i've been also one of the reviewers where i've uh, seen a lot of papers that was very great inputs and insights uh, to us to learn as well and thank you for your time and it's been inspiring like a lot of good stories that came in as a conversation and I'm, I'm very thankful to all audiences because uh, we got in a chance to know more examples from you as well when we are interacting. Thanks for the opportunity. Thanks Thank for you. your time. Thank you. Thank you, Rama and Pooja uh, for the session. Uh, okay. Uh, meanwhile, again, the QR code is display, uh, displayed here for the feedback. Uh, uh, I would request Rahul Sharma and Sunil Mantri to felicitate Rama and Pooja. Thanks a lot. Can we have a round of applause? Yeah, we should. Thank you. Thanks. So that it looks like I'm giving it to you, but not you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Thank you, Rahul and Sunil. Thanks again, Rama and Pooja. So the next session would be starting at 12.25, and it would be Agile Unleashed at Scale by Amit Tandon and Sanup Kumar. Uh, quickly connect on with the next session. Uh, we we have Amit Tandon and Sanup Kumar Ambaraparambil who are here from John Deere. And uh, quickly introducing about them, uh, they are like they have a unique set of experience in terms of their uh, hobbies. Especially Amit is a cyclist. He's a trucker enthusiast, and he has completed six Himalayan trucks. Right, and uh, again. Looking at Sandeep's interest is to uh, playing musical instruments and again he's a good gardener and good in cooking. Uh, and we also have a profound experience from them uh, in terms of data analytics and stuff with their educational backgrounds as well. We're very happy to have them here and over to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rama. Thank, Thank you. you.
Okay, good afternoon. Welcome everyone. Uh, first, I would like to thank APGI for giving us this platform to talk about our case study. Second, I would thank them for making me younger than what I am of this age. Curious, yes, right? When I was coming over here to present this, I was having the same feeling, same emotions, that small butterfly in the stomach when I used to have, when I used to go for my engineering examination. <laughs> so I became younger by standing over here. When I was preparing for this presentation, I thought what would the audience interested? Would they be really interested in Agile, unleashed at a large manufacturing organization? Would they really know what John Deere is? Or they, does they know only John Deere as a tractor company? Right? That's what my kid used to say. Wherever he sees a green and yellow tractor, John Deere. <laughs> said, okay, yeah, John Deere. Would they know that this John Deere company is there in industry for last 185 years? For being in this industry for last 185 years, definitely we will be adapting to changes over this entire years. We are. And there is a proof, because we are there. We are there in that Fortune 500 list. We are not just there, we are constantly jumping up the list. In 2022, we jumped four places. Though here it shows 86, we are right now at 84th position. You can check the list. We are trying to do this shift of that thought process that we are not just manufacturing organization. We are now a technological company, John Deere. We are doing that transformation. Believe me, we are. And we have done that. We have completed it. When we started this transformation, and this last point when I mentioned it, and I was, I don't know, after the brilliant session from Pooja and uh, Ram, I was thinking, should I say the word agile? <laughs> My God. They gave so many examples and asked us not to use the word Agile. But I am thankful to you all, in that last Mentimeter you told Agile as an enabler. So I got, yeah, okay, I can use the word Agile. Now, looking back, see every story, every movie, there is a villain. We do had one. Though we had strong processes, we had strong culture, all those were there. But with the way our customer expectations were keeping up, with the way the business was asking it, the demanding, we were finding it hard to evolve with their needs. They want things available, fast, secured. They don't want something like after a year or after a month. They want it in one week. They want it now. We were dealing that problem. Not just the what part, we were dealing problems at how part as well. We had pockets of teams who has implemented different agile frameworks, which was having their own limitations. We were finding it hard to scaling. Multiple handoffs between the team were bringing that time to market much, much more. All those managerial roles, they were there to prioritize the work, do micromanagement. I don't, I shouldn't use that. Someone said me in next, yes, that's a bias. But yeah, that's a bias. Heavy portfolio prioritization processes, problems were there. We had villains. And whenever we had a villain, we need to find some hero. We looked upon Agile as a hero. And what we saw is these problems, yeah, these are unique problems to us. We think that they are unique. And just like yesterday, many of my friends said, yeah, your problems would be unique. And many companies face these problems. But the solution lies in those simple, simple steps, in those simple principles, what you need to implement. We didn't do something different. We did just that. What we did, we believed in holistic transformation, not just a part, not just a piece, not just development. We did entire transformation of our entire IT organization. 
organizational structures now we are much flatter structures products processes technology stack mindset very much required 185 year old company yeah many of you are smiling yeah i guess <laughs> and leadership behavior thank you rama for one of that point leaders very important right so we had to change all this being within the budget and making sure all this transformation is accounted for we measure it now we had to change the way we work on our what part as well as on our how part we need to find out a lot many changes our entire it portfolio we restructured it into 460 products which were clubbed in 96 product families into 19 areas and then finally five business strategical areas we did that it was long painful but we did that we created products with defined measurable outcomes which were based on value delivery for the business for that we had to come up with a product model which helped in funding which helped in prioritization in order to support that product model we had to create product organization within that business now when we are creating all this towards the product size we need to make sure we are creating teams which are organized around that products and services when you are creating those teams you need to make sure you are not just leaving them just like over there you need to provide them coaching training mentoring growth mindset all those aspects you need to make it available to them along with that we added one more thing that we need to increase our footprint in cloud and automation we did that while we moved ahead this is what came to us as our agile operating model which we launched in 2019 and we chose a unique way that if we pick up only one mindset at a time it would be hard what we what expecting is a combination of all this mindset ux we want our products to be useful usable delightful we want to deliver the highest value in least number of time with least effort right we want to balance our speed with stability and reliability we wanted to make sure to know our real customers what the problems they are facing and to create the right solution for them all these mindsets we were targeting at one single place so we thought what would be the way the way what we implemented is a concept which was called as dojo an intentional space was created for immersive learning where product teams can come to that space for some specific instance of time and work side by side with coaches agile product engineering ux coaches on real business problems not some theoretical training not some hypothetical examples on their real problems when i was learning this dojo i thought oh my god this something from target from us and then one day it was my dad he told come on and my home name my uh, house name is sonu i guess many of them had so he said are this is apna gurukul जहाँ पे तीर भी चलाना सिखाते थे भाला भी चलाना सिखाते थे यू यू आर नॉट डूइंग समथिंग न्यू दिस समथिंग कंसेप्ट विच वी हैड टुगेदर वी क्रिएटेड दिस एनवायरनमेंट बट व्हेन वी क्रिएटेड द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस वाज नॉट सम स्मॉल नंबर्स विच वी हैड वी वर लुकिंग एट फाइव टीम्स फोर प्लस एम्प्लॉयज वी कॉन्ट गो बिग बैंग अगेन थैंक्स टू रामा वी हैड टू फाइंड दैट इंक्रीमेंटल अप्रोच right we created an incremental approach we started calling it as dojo or oh, sorry we started calling it as waves right in that we had three phase preparation phase immersion phase and then sustain and evolve for preparation phase we need to review that organization we need to do those basic trainings we need to create those product structure create the product backlog create okr personas their product canvas and all those things once they are ready then they enter the immersion phase 
which is the real playground for doing immersive embedded coaching, one-on-one, -on -one, leadership coaching, all those things. Now, once they are out of that emotion phase, we are again not leaving them alone. We had our organizational coaches in that organization, the scrum masters, the, the leaders who were continuing that particular journey along with them. All these three phases. Has any one of you went to, uh, wrong question, but you might have went to beaches or at least in those uh, water park, those wave pools, right? When that wave come, when you are inside the wave, you feel frightened, yep. right? A different kind of emotions through. Am I going to be drowned? I don't know swimming, so I have that emotions. That was the same emotions with our team members. Why change? Why me? We had to support them. We had to be with them. That's what coaches are there. And thanks to my friend Manish, yesterday he said a very good statement. I said him, I'm going to use it. So coaches are there not to answer your questions. They are there to question your answers. Very valid point. We did that while working with them. And while we were working with them, we need to make sure we are moving in the right direction. For that we had metrics. Yes, all these metrics were inspired by lean, system thinking, Dora metrics, where we had better, sooner, safer, happier, all those things we covered. But again, yesterday I, I heard one of my friends lecture, Rahul and Webhav, about innovation. Until and unless you hit the right business value, your product is going to get failed. That is where in the late 2020-2021, we also got evolved and we started our journey towards the value where we got ourselves invested in OKRs, KPIs and do those all user satisfaction, all those things. We were there, but this is our journey to maturity. Right now, still we are moving over there. We don't say we have totally gained it, but what we can say is we have successfully done the immersion of 500 teams of 4,000 plus employees. We did it. And the metrics on the right, right, left, right, yeah. Okay, it proves, all those metrics, it proves. But then is this it? No. Once a person is out of engineering college, that is when the real problem starts at work. When we face, it is not theory. It is not just those embedded coaching. At that place, you had all those coaches along with you. But when you go back to the real world, when you face those real challenges, when you are there in your spaces, who is going to hold your hand? Who is going to support you? Who is going to take this journey along with you? We thought that as well. That is where our team entered into sustain and evolve phase. That is what was the next opportunity for us to work and we worked it hard. That is where our organizational coaches came into picture. Thank you, Amit. And that's a wonderful explanation of the transformation that we went through. You all saw the, the massive change that we went through, right? So I've been part of this organization for 16 plus years. I, I've never seen such a big transformation in my life. Involving 400, I mean, 500 scrum teams, 4,000 employees across the globe, India, US, Germany, Brazil, Mexico, and all put together. Everybody, you know, went through these principles, the foundations, and go through this transformation. So how many of you are responsible for a, trans a transformation in your companies or respective organizations? And what happens when, when you go through a massive change like this? What happens in the reality? Resistance. How many of you believe that life is a test of agility? Is that true? And those, through thri those, those who thrive those test of agility are the successful, I mean, Ram's presentation. Look at all those examples. He talked about those companies who are being agile and being, uh, going through those tests of agility and being able to successfully retain their market and customers' value and all that stuff. So that's what we went through too. I mean, he talked about um, the 
transformation but when you hit the reality that's where the change hits you right reality is, uh, is all about change and then in a team what can happen right the developers can come and go the roles can change scrum masters product managers and uh, engineering managers who are the de delivery leaders plus new teams might form i had a couple of teams you know that got formed after my immersion with the with the foundry which amit was you know uh, the coach you know uh, giving that immersion but when i took the sustained phase i had this reality of change and what happens in a team they go through this continuous uh, you know cycle of forming stopping knobbing um, performing and then some of you might know the shuhari right shuhari is about you have foundations then you keep on mastering your skills and you break away from those foundations right what happens with the change again it gets uh, you know shaken so that's where we had to come up with some program to manage this change and within our business areas of responsibility so i am responsible for the after market and customer support uh, business capability what we do there is you know supporting all the dealers um, and authors uh, technical content authors so what we have is you know when when your tractors go to our uh, dealership for servicing you need to have those technicians have technical manuals and repair manuals parts etc to replace and uh, you know service those equipments so we we have to serve all those you know users with these uh, applications where they can create the you know manuals and then finally the uh, you know the warranty claims and all those stuff you know get created as well so that's where i my, i'm responsible for and so if you look at this program that we came up with this is called mini wave so foundry came up with this big transformation wave for 3 years we have been running that then we came up with this mini wave which is to sustain that and it is anchored on couple of principles if you look at the first one we have to be able to stand on our own feet right so those who got trained like me you know an agile coach from a business area i need to be able to take this journey of transformation and thanks to amit and team and prasoon and all those uh, foundry coaches here but we have to be able to sustain ourselves and not about not being able to depend on you know many others uh, outside of our area of responsibility second is we should have our own um, you know the team members to be able to bring on the same level of agile uh, mindsets what happens with the change because new folks again come in they don't have any foundation they lost the, the the foundation some of them are trained some of them are not trained you have to level the the foundation again that's what the you know next outcome is then the other thing uh, other one is like giving back to the community right again i got trained i want to give some something back to the community so that others can also benefit so we came up with this program the value of this was so high that the end of, you know the glo global level it got accepted this they said okay this is you know pretty significant it actually helps us to sustain the agile transformation let's pull it off let's make sure that everybody does this so what is it about right so we are again built on those four mindsets that i have uh, talked about right the ux product management then engineering mindset right the, you know the agile mindsets and if you look at the visual at the bottom there it's actually built into four phases what you know the the teams actually go through this four phases uh, which is uh, again reinforcing on the product mindset you know being value driven you know uh, you know work on okrs customer centricity those kind of concepts are taught there agile mindset again being agile responding to change you know don't stick with your old you know old ways of learning you have to unlearn and relearn then engineering practices build on the flow you know it's not not about having a excellent flow but what are you passing through that flow is it bad code or good code <laughs> you have to ensure the value flows faster through that flow right so that is what it is built on that flow and the last one is uh, you know again reinforcing on the customer and value mindset at the end of the day that determines your success if you just do something and you're always busy but what's happened outcome nobody is happy <laughs> do you so, uh, call yourself as successful no you have to be successful based on the outcome you create and somebody is happy with that right so this program is built with uh, almost 4076 uh, points which is equivalent of 76 hours 75 hours and we did this within our area of uh, responsibility and it was massive success right so i'll show you some results um so how did we run this right we had uh, 11 scrum masters four tech leads then uh, three engineering managers and one bcac which which was me and uh, the participants were 30 developers three product managers six scrum, scrum masters and two engineering managers lots of hands on right so the, the the way this was taught was every topic for example 
okay yaar we would do it in a three split approach right it will be a 90 minute session 30 minutes of concept 30 minutes of breakout activity and 30 minutes of large uh, you know group sharing we are like this group was divided into five scrum teams so each of the scrum team would do their activity they would come to the large room and then do a report out and they go back with better understanding of those concepts because the the knowledge sharing helps them to grow the knowledge right and then uh, we had a lot of uh, different ideas like uh, videos uh, and a scrum pattern skits a lot of times we we always think okay this is the right way to do it also look at the wrong ways to do it that also reinforces your uh, learning right so we had kids skits talking about bad way to do re refinements can can anybody say what is a bad way to do a refinement an example discussing on the how part exactly what yeah. and why yeah not you know prioritizing exactly maybe the product managers uh, talking about the how leave it to the developers they would figure that out right so those kind of examples we we would portray in front of them and they will we'll ask them what do you learn what was the, the the right way to do this right so that actually corrected the right the learnings for them basically and then um, psychological safety again uh, it's a very very important concept right you have to be safe in the in the team to be able to innovate don't you know have a fear of failure you know those kind of uh, you know uh, behaviors that we taught as well and this entire program went for six uh, sprints three months duration and we didn't take whole day commitment only 10 12% of velocity that means 90 minutes a day that's it rest of the time they would work on their own regu regular stuff so this was actually hands on learning built into the regular way of working the regular stream of working they were doing basically that's why we were able to con convince everybody leadership we're not asking your entire team to sit in a room for 9 9 hours and go through this you have your regular time but just dedicate this portion of your time to learn and go back and apply it right and lastly uh, you probably know this nps right the concept of nps is non you no, know net promoter score we got 100 100 as a score from all the participants so that they got significant value and some of the i think that's hidden right some of the examples i i, I don't i don't think we have it here but uh, they talked about the the innovative ways of learning hands on experiences plus sharing and uh, also the correcting the unlearning part of it Right, some of them come with uh, you know experiences from their previous organizations or maybe experiences of doing agile in a different format but when we come and learn here they unlearn and relearn right so that's also happened so these are some of the indicators that got changed right so i am responsible for 14 uh, uh, scrum teams they went through this program and look at the the results that we achieved right so the lead time which is the the idea when it comes from a customer the way you commit and you deliver it we got it from 140 days to 30 days okay the cycle time is built in within that when you you know prioritize and take it into sprint and you deploy it to production but not release it to customer secondly on the other side the throughput which is the number of functionality you deliver in a sprint again went up significantly we are still a little bit to catch up because of the tech modernization we are running through on prem to cloud migration like amit talked about it slows you down you don't deliver you know customer value during that time because you're modernizing your tech stack so you're running a little slow there but deployment frequency again number of functionality your deployment is deploying in a sprint went up significantly lastly if you look at the team engagement which is the the the, the happiness the you know the feeling of the teams look at the change that we got right 29 to 74 and 40 to 82 these are world class numbers and is sustaining we're talking about these numbers after two years of transformation so it's solid green and it's staying there even with this number of change the number of change that i talked about 40 new members went through this program but still we were able to achieve this uh, metrics so final slide uh, again a transformation is not a you know destination it's a continuous journey you hit with reality always reality is change right and agile being agile is how you move forward and how you come up with this kind of ideas to take it forward so that your agility foundation is solid with anybody coming to your team right and indicators inspect and adapt is absolutely you know required you need to look at key indicators that helps you to understand where do you need to focus 
You don't want to, you know, do a, you know, paintbrush and say everybody goes through this. You need to figure out what is the exact problem to find out. You know, coaching is all about that. I think we were talking about it. Yep. Right? You have to understand what is the need. Then you apply the coaching there. Don't apply coaching everywhere. And scrum masters and coach, coaches who are running this, uh, you know, scrum uh, teams or responsible for the scrum teams to deliver value have to have their, you know, capabilities to be able to run this. Right? And the last one is, um, you know, investing investing in uh, broader capabilities, not staying in not only agile, also being able to product, you know, coach on the product areas, engineering areas, and because all of it is connected. Unless and until you work across the stream, you know, you will not get the output or outcomes that you're looking at, right? So that's pretty much so what we have. Can you please go back to last yeah. slide, Sanu? Yeah. Has any one of you been on any tracking or maybe trail that you went through? What do you remember of that? What do you remember of that? Yes. How about you? What did you remember of that? Worth the climb. Worth. Yes. So, just like you talked about journey, you talked about destination, right? We create our goals, even for the agile transformation, right? When we are going through that journey, please enjoy that journey. Because after 10 years, after 12 years, when you remember that tracking, still when I went to Annapurna Base Camp, I remember the spectacular view of that mountains covered with white snow. And then with the first sunlight, all that snow converting into yellow color, unimaginable. But now when I talk to my friends, okay, what is so exciting? My God, we had to climb 35,000 stairs. I don't talk about that mountain. I talk about the pain of that journey, but we enjoyed it. I talk about the leeches on the route, which we had on our legs. All all of our were like blood, blood, blood everywhere. We are frightened to that. But then that journey is important. So when you are doing your agile transformation, hold hand of your team members very strong. Don't leave it. Because even when you reach to that, that pinnacle, yes, everyone will celebrate that. But the real team member is going to celebrate the journey with you. They are going to remember you for that journey, not the destination. So please be along with them with that continuous journey. That is what I just wanted to leave with this. Any questions? Yeah. We can. Yeah. Yeah, great question actually. Is it involved in the, the business side also, right? I mean, that's, that's your point, right? So IT, definitely those uh, 500 teams that you saw that was primarily IT plus product management. So product management is the integration point. So you have the end users, then you have a product management middle layer, then IT developers, right? So that's uh, the part of the change uh, model actually. So ultimately, we have not scaled it to like manufacturing shop. Some of them are doing it. Some factories have gone to agile implementation. They even have agile coaches in some of the you know, uh, factories we have, right? They're slowly moving into that agile model, but product management plus IT has gone through this uh, transformation. Yeah, so uh, from seeing the success story of this, right, many of the manufacturing teams or different teams in different domains, they have started like coming to us and asking for, uh, asking for that, okay, how can we also get transformed? So this has become somehow success story yeah. for other teams to have, yeah. Yeah, Great there, point, actually, Prasoon. I mean, in fact, no go ahead. Yeah. There's so many such requests that we get, actually, um, from various businesses. One of the uh, recent examples is China team. China business team has approached us to really go through this transformation. So it's actually spreading. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, my name is Bhavik. Uh, I work for Deutsche Bank. So being a global bank, we are also going through our own transformation, uh, yeah. agile transformation. So. Uh, John Deere being uh, again a global company with you know uh, many different cultures in different countries. So 
how did you circumvent the cultural nuances and differences? Because we talk about transformation, but there are cultural aspects as well. And uh, each country, each geography has its own culture and the way they interpret Agile in their own way. So uh, how did you uh, come across this challenge? Very good question. And I would just say, just before this, there was a session, I guess, from Rucha about Agile and DEI going hand in hand. If you just talk about Agile, <laughs> people may take it very lightly. Within your core group, you need to talk about DEI as well. And the I stands for that inclusion. Right? Not just the inclusion of one geography, to all the geography. And I, as I know, Deutsche Bank, they are located global, same as we are. Right? When we started our transformation, we had our leaders with the commitment, with that strong spirit that yes, they are going to talk about it. And along with Agile, we, we have moved a lot ahead on DEI. Wherein if there are any such pointers which come out, definitely it's talked about. Initially it was like, surprise, it's talked about. So Agile is bringing all the problems to the forefront. At least you should first accept there is a problem. In those past, no one was accepting that there is a problem. Now we are accepting it. We are trying to address that. So yeah. Maybe one thing I'll add is, um, definitely we had those examples of, you know, asking, folks asking not convinced by this. This is theory, right? Prove it. So we had to really show examples of how this, this is creating value. Right, some features going in a production faster. I mean, some of those things, I, I recently, I quote an example, recently one of the major applications we went live, it would have taken a couple of years to go live. This has happened within the last two, three uh, months to be able to deliver some major functionality. So those kind of examples kind of, you know, bolsters those thought process that this really works, right? That's why even the spreading of Agile into the actual business areas, factories, is happening in, in, in Johnny right now, right? So I'll, definitely cultural difference are there, questions do come in, but we need to keep working on it in terms of the, the why part of it, right? So stay focused on the why before we start talking about everything else. Yeah, maybe we'll, okay, there are two. So in the interest of time, like, can we take questions offline, like uh, during lunch? Yeah, one last yes. question. Yeah, thank you. Uh, when we went into the presentation slides, we, I saw a topic called change management into it. So my name is Balakrishna Shirgaonkar. I'm an SME in service management and integration. I work on incident problem change and create processes and ensure that those processes are followed. Now, when we talk about agile in change management, like what I understand my question is, how do we adopt Agile in change management? Because in change management, we have a definite change to be getting implemented. And when we talk about Agile, the requirement of the change changes with respect to time. Within a stipulated time frame, until the change gets approved. Once the change is approved, and if the requirement changes, and we bring Agile into picture, so how can we implement that sort of a change? There's a lot of change in that question. <laughs> Experts are here. I'll probably look up to Amit and Prasoon. Anything? Yeah. So let me try to rephrase what you're asking is, how is change management incorporated in this agile world? Is that is the simple question? Yeah, very good. Change itself is changing, right? <laughs> yes. I guess most of us here are from the agile world wherein the initial, yesterday also we had many sessions. I have, very, I have my very good friend Rahul here who has talked about this a lot. That when you implement Agile, just don't talk about those ceremonies, those things. You need to really empower that role. So within a team, you have your product owner who has that empowerment of prioritizing that requirement. If you are just creating dummy product owners, and then leaving all those things over there, you don't. Even if you get one, two, three, five, as many changes as you want, your product manager's job, your product owner's job is to make sure to prioritize that requirement, which is to the best interest of your product. 
if they are capable of doing that very good your product will be moving in the right direction and you don't need any additional processes yeah they should be able to take care of that in that interest of product one, one thing i'll add to that is uh, look at the change as part of the vertical slice of value right don't look at changes in, in isolation when you look at changes in isolation you would always find which is which has to move first look at the vertical slice of value that you're working on is this change as, is part of that right then you move it in priority right this value is more important than this value this change is associated with this va value let's move it faster so like that i, I would uh, probably you know look at that perspective yeah they would be around uh, you for lunch and we are getting late for lunch as well <laughs> uh take up your questions and they would be happy to answer it more and measure what matters we can reflect that in your session from the story of john deere uh i would uh, invite rahul enchwar and uh, vishal saxena for felicitating amit thank and uh, sanup kumar for their inspiring session on the story of john deere but thank you for all the questions great questions by the way thank you thank you thank you sir Yes, <laughs> Sushil. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, APGI. Thank you.